Hey guys, this is Mike from TechRespect.com. Today we're setting up our HMail server to uh, link with our Gmail account. Um, here on HMailServer.com, you can go ahead and just download uh, and install HMail server and then just point it to a SQL server instance. Um, I uh, already did that and now I'm going to launch HMail server and configure it. So uh, in here, you're going to go ahead and choose your domain. I'm setting up the email for my uh, uh, website here. So we'll say save. We'll add our first account, Mike. And give it a password. Okay, in order to get it, we're going to have to set up SMTP for the relay. So I'm using the one that uh, GoDaddy has um, has set as fine to use, which is dead relay, port 25. Uh, and I just um, can go ahead and leave there and, and come back up to our DNS. So. On DNS, in order to get email, we have to set up our mail records. So first, we're going to actually set up a subdomain for mail. It's going to be an A record. The host is going to be mail. And we're just going to actually point it to the IP address of the server that's running our website. So I'm running the mail server on that same box. So the site and the mail are on the same IP address. And then down here, we can set up our MX record for that. So that's going to be at points to mail .tech per spec com. Let's go to priority of one. And now we're all set up to um, route emails through there. I've set up two Gmail accounts um, just to just to try to work the emails through there. So you're going to come over and click settings. And now you can go ahead and first configure your checking mail by adding the POP3 server. Like at, oh, look at it right here, techrespect.com. And then you just put in your, your the password that you just added. Uh, we have the uh, pointing right to the MX record, and we can just add it. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit no, just to show that right now we're able to check mail, and the next thing we're going to want to do is send mail. So let's go ahead and add that. Again, like at techrespect.com. We're going to point it again to the uh, MX record, which is mail.techrespect.com. I'll put it on port 25. And our username is going to be like a tech respect with the email that we just set up. Let's go ahead and add that account. So you're going to need to confirm it. And um, the way that it confirms is by sending an email to that account, which we're checking already here. So we're just going to wait a couple minutes and um, the email should come through and we can um, uh, copy in the confirmation code at that point. Okay, checking back a few minutes later, we see that uh, the confirmation email has come from Gmail, so we can go ahead and copy it and put it right into the verification. And now we're set up to send email. So let's go ahead and test that out. Compose. We're going to now be able to choose the option that we just configured, and I'm going to send it to my other temporary email account. Did you get this? Testing. So uh, it's going to show up on the other account. It might take a minute, so let's see if it's there yet. Nope, we'll uh, give it a second, and um, uh, I'll just pick it up when it gets here. Okay, so the email has come, that um, that testing email, and it says, testing, you know, did you get this? So our email went through. Um, now the last thing we need to change is the... Uh, Gmail can't verify that techrespect.com actually sent this message. This is because we don't have our SPF and our domain keys set up, which we're going to do next. So uh, we're going to go back over there and um, set up this account for SPF records. So uh, that's going to be on our 
DNS entries, we're going to have to make uh, a couple text entries down here in our TXTs. So first we're going to make the SPF records. We're going to say um, using like a wizard, spfwizard.com helps out. Just go ahead and type in your uh, your domain. And, you know, this is pretty helpful uh, freeware out there to make sure that you actually set it up right for your situation. So we'll say yes, yes to the first two questions um, for the MX and um, the host. And then we're just going to go down to here and we're going to say that there are two host names that could uh, include this. Uh, one is uh, their suggestion, underscore spf.gmail.com. And the other is the original one, uh, which is secureserver.net. So um, the reason that you have both of these, the secureserver.net is going to be so that we can actually send an email um, like we just did. And the underscore spfgoogle.com is if we want to send email from Google and then have it be checked by another account through Google. So uh, like if you had Mike at Tech Respect, um, and Mike2 at techrespect.com. If you sent it from your Gmail to another account that was binded to it through Gmail, it would bounce around between the two servers. So we're going to have both of those in here. And this is going to be the SPF record that it uh, made for us. Actually, the last thing is to say hard fail. That will, um, that will pass Google's credentials here. So we'll uh, just make a new text entry. We'll say it's an at record with that value. And we'll now add the DKIM, which is a uh, public key, private key, that will uh, prove that the email wasn't just spammed out from uh, somebody spoofing your site. So you type in your um, domain to a web helper for uh, DKIM, I'm using sockelabs.com, so a tech perspec. And we're going to do, just give it a selector key one. And then down here, it's going to actually give you exactly what you need to put in. So the first record is going to be underscore domain key. with a value of the okay we'll save that and then the next one is going to be the actual public key and what I like to do with the public key is to bring up like notepad and get rid of all the spaces socket labs puts in carriage returns. So this will be the whole record. And you're going to do key1.domain key. So it'll be key1.underscore-domain key. And then we can just paste in the public key that uh, DKIM just created for us. And then the last step is to take the private key and again bring up notepad. We're going to save this one on our server with HTML server. So we can just Get rid of all those carriage returns. And then this right here, we can say file, save as. Uh, we'll put this in our folder like C, we'll call it site keys. And you can really just call it anything. I'm going to call it techrespect.key1.key.
And then when you bring up HTML server, you'll go down to your domain and go to DKIM and you can say enabled and you can just choose that key that we just selected. So the tech respect key. Uh, it was for the selector of key one and we should now have the uh, the private key saved off. So let's run the same test again. from like a tech respect. Okay, let's log in on the other one. And we'll wait a minute for that email to show up. And checking back a few minutes later, we see that we do have the email now. Um, and it does not have the warning that it couldn't be verified um, as opposed to the other ones. So that's, uh, that's it for this um, video. And if you liked it, go ahead and throw a like up or a comment or subscribe to the channel. And uh, thanks for watching.